In this video I'll show you how to use the scanner, actually the two different scanners on your Epson Workforce WF2930. I'll show you how to scan documents like this one and to get the results directly on your computer using Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. So the first thing we need to do is to connect this printer to the same Wi-Fi network as your PC or Mac computer. Then step number two will be to download the driver of this printer on your computer. I'll do it on a PC and at the end I'll show you how to get the results. So the first step is to press the home button on the display, I mean, on the control panel over here. You're gonna have 12 different options. You see, this is one out of 12. You need to use the left and right arrows to navigate. Okay, press on it until you see Wi-Fi setup. It's page 12 out of 12. Once you see this, press okay. Next, we're going to select Wi-Fi recommended, press OK, again OK, and now select Wi-Fi setup wizard, it's one out of three, press OK. Wait a few seconds, the printer will now search for all the different networks that are around it. Okay, and now you're gonna get a list. Go up and down using the up and down arrows. You can see all the Wi-Fi networks that it has found. And one of them should be yours. Once you see yours, select it by pressing OK. And now type the password. If your Wi-Fi password has numbers or characters, different characters like symbols, you need to go over here where it says A1, hashtag and you're going to get capital letters. If you click more on it, you're going to get numbers and symbols. So go ahead and type the password and at the end, select OK and press OK. If your Wi-Fi password has numbers, this printer has a number pad over here, which will make things much easier to type. I have pressed OK and now it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi network. All right, it has finally connected to my Wi-Fi network and at the end it will end up on this page. On your PC, you're going to go on Google and all you have to type is Epson WF line 2930 driver because we need to download the driver for, for your printer. So one of the first options should be from the official website. Um, website. Here it's the Canadian one, this is the US one. If you're living in another country, you may have other results, but just go on the official website. Go down, make sure that you are under download. Choose your Windows version. This is Windows 11, so I'll select Windows 11, press go. Go down, wait a few seconds and the driver should appear. Here we go. You're going to go under drivers, click on drivers and you're going to have printer driver. Select download. Wait a few seconds. It's not a big file, so it will just take a few seconds and uh, you're going to launch the file once it's uh, downloaded. So here we go. Open file. Yes. You can close the web browser. Press OK. You can uncheck set as default printer if this is not what you want. And you can also uncheck automatically update software if this is not what you want. Press OK. Select your language. Press OK. Press agree. OK. Setup is complete. So press OK. And now the printer driver has been installed successfully. You can go and select the Windows logo down below. Maybe yours is on the lower left side. Then select settings. Select on the right side Bluetooth and devices. And on the right side, on the right side, yes, printers and scanners. Then from here, select add device. Now, how do you scan and get the results on your PC? This printer has two scanners. The first one is an automatic document feeder on the top. 
you first need to open this flap and if you have multiple pages like I do here place them facing up with the top part of your page towards the left side and glide them in the middle just like that you're gonna hear a beep this means that the printer has recognized you have input paper up there if you want to scan using the regular scanner well you can close this open and you're gonna place your document facing down with the top part towards the right side and you see there is an arrow over here well you need to glide the corner of your paper until it touches the uh, arrow over there this is how you know that the paper is aligned close the lid and now we need to go on the PC so from here you're gonna go and in the search bar of your PC tap scan you're gonna open the scan app the scan app should come included with your PC you don't have to download it but if it's not included in some cases it's not go on the Windows Microsoft Store and you're gonna download it for free it's made by Microsoft so it's pretty safe and it's free to use so open the scan app and then on the left side you're going to select under scanner your printer so WF2930 wait a few seconds okay and under source it's auto but you can select manually if you have input the paper under the flatbed as I did or the top document feeder then select what kind of file you would like uh, to have at the end I'll select a PDF click on show more and I have the choice to choose if you want in color on black and white resolution the highest the number on the resolution the better the results will look but it also take more time to scan and the file will also take more space on your computer at the end select the destination of this file so desktop is where I chose and press the scan button wait a few seconds and under I'd say 15 seconds you should get the results all right we get the confirmation that it has been saved on the desktop you press view over here you can open the file you can also go on the desktop and the file will be there and here we go this is our scan so thanks for watching i hope my video was helpful leave a like but also comment down below check my links towards amazon if you want to support my channel if you want to get some paper or some ink cartridges for this specific printer. I have put links down below and I'll see you in the next video.